Fans lined up and waited for hours to see their favorite team roll into town for the annual kickoff of training camp. There's just a really nice uh, mentality where everyone's just kind of gathered in Main Street and you just get to see people you haven't seen for a while. And, uh, you know, the Jets are a big deal uh, coming into town. Um, it just gets the town buzzing a lot. The New York Jets will take over SUNY Cortland and the rest of the city for the next three weeks as they gear up for the 2013 football season. I like seeing the players once in a while before we get off getting um getting the football season started. Obviously, Jets fans are excited for the start of training camp here in Cortland, and area businesses echo those same feelings. As the Chamber of Commerce says that over the next three weeks, $5 million is expected to be brought here into Cortland. Businesses such as Mark's Pizzeria, which is right in the middle of town. Bar activity picks up a lot, really livens up the main street here in Cortland. Um, with that being said, you know, they tend to go out and eat and have a lot of fun and stay up late. Jets come down to town, they hang out with them. It's, it's great all around, really. Dickie's Barbecue Pit is right off the 81 ramp in Cortland. They know the 40,000 fans who come from across the Northeast and Canada to see the Jets will increase revenue for all the area businesses. We're going to see a huge boom in all of the businesses, I think. All the local, the hotels, the grocery stores, the restaurants, everyone's going to see a huge boom. Energy is high for everyone as businesses cash in on a rush of football fans ready to cheer on the Jets. Reporting in Cortland, I'm Alex Rosillo.